The day was fantastic. We, today we really focused on platoon level live fire operations. With that, creating an environment here at the Adage training area that represents the continue, contemporary operating environment. So here, both a series of offensive and defensive tasks, multi-echelon training with the Battalion Tactical Operations Center being able to receive the reports, my mortar platoon being able to provide indirect fire, and allows the platoon leader to be able to develop engagement area development and fire distribution. That is what's so critical about what happened today, because it's the quality of training uh, that we've been able to get here at Camp Adagia. Well, so, you know, platoon live fires happen. I mean, we do them at Fort Carson here, but however, I think what you get out today is the repetition. It's a, it's, it's a very focused, it's quality and quantity training like Fort Carson. However, we're in an environment. This is a made range based off the available terrain. It represents uh, how we would fight, how we would maneuver uh, with our, our NATO allies. And I think that's what makes it very realistic for our soldiers today that have done the training. I think it's incredible. So if you look at the, the whole concept of what we've been able to do, not only from our arrival in Poland, being able to do a speed of assembly drills up to the Baltics, and since really the 14th of February, we have been in the field with our host nation allies, conducting everything from individual qualification now through platoon live fires. So it's an incredible, it's an incredible opportunity for soldiers, not only to be grounded in the fundamentals, but we're also growing a whole new generation of leaders that can operate within NATO and understand the command structure, and not only from a training management portion of it, but able to execute operations. So it's, it's truly remarkable to be here. Training every day here. So, you know, being in Atlantic Resolve is incredible. So whether it's a training meeting or whether it's out in a range, every day you're getting repetitions. You're getting quality in the quantity of training. Uh, that we have here being forward deployed. It not only just supports our deterrence operations and support of the NATO Alliance, but it continues to build readiness with us. So as we look at our mantra as a battalion, every day you're building and maintaining readiness because you're prepared for the, for the unknown. And so being able to do that here has been remarkable. So today was unique. So today you actually saw a live fire engagement with the use of handheld flags. So in this scenario, the platoon actually was jammed. They lost their FM and their global positioning systems to use. So that forced the platoon leader to transition to using flags to control uh, the direct fire element of the platoon. So that is a task that's difficult to train, but we'll get the repetitions here. And that's what you saw today. Being able to do that, I, I haven't seen that since uh, I was a young lieutenant uh, early on in Germany. Being able to train with flags is something we have to be able to do. We have to be able to fight in a contested environment, and today was just one example of getting to that level of training.